Hello YouTube, Reseller Mom here. Welcome to today's video. Today is another one of those kind of, I feel like it's another Amazon shenanigans, but I'm going to walk you through pretty quickly here on the automated unfulfillable settings and what you need to be watching out for because Amazon keeps changing them on people that uh, is kind of annoying because it's in their favor, not our favor. So you kind of need to go check your settings if nothing else, but we're going to check them and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if you just type into the search button, automated unfulfillable settings, you can find it, find this page there. I also believe you go under settings, my account, and it's somewhere in there. I it's tough. All of these um, links, sometimes I go ahead and star them so I don't have to search for them again, but the search button usually is pretty quick too. So you're looking for your automated unfulfillable settings and the setting that Amazon keeps turning on, even though we keep turning it off, and I have done this probably three times, is this refurbishment and liquidation settings, which means that any eligible items that, you know, are not sellable, you know, it's unsellable inventory, they're going to go through and see if it can do refurbishments and then liquidations. And if it can't do either of those, then it's going to return to you. And honestly, you do not get much money off of liquidations or refurbishment. It is pennies on the dollar. And if you want those settings, that is fine. Sometimes uh, people don't want to really deal with any of their unsellable items and they just liquidate it out and it's not worth the time to mess with and that's totally an option. Sometimes I'm kind of in that mindset, but I do like whatever choice I make, I want Amazon to kind of respect that and not keep turning this on. This is why it's kind of shenanigans. So mine settings were turned on again, uh, even though I did not turn them on myself. So I went ahead and you just unselect those two things and click save. That's, that's pretty much it. But this video is is kind of to bring this to your attention so that you know what to do. So I've unclicked those two. The other options here is uh, return or dispose. I have my returns sent back to me. When my customers return something, let's say it's a pair of pants or a bra, I sell a lot of bras, and they tried it on and it didn't fit, so it goes back to Amazon and Amazon says, well, this clearly has been tried on, we can't resell it. I want that to come back to me, not necessarily get disposed. Because a lot of times I get the item back and I either send it, you know, clean it up or, you know, fix it up in whatever way it needs to be fixed up and send it back to Amazon. And if the tags have been removed or whatnot, I will sell it over on eBay. Um, a lot of times it just is like a pair of pants that needs to be refolded up and that's it. So I definitely want those items returned back to me, especially the higher dollar items, you know, that can be. I want to make some more money off of that and not just liquidate it out. So these are my return settings. I have it set to return. I do weekly. So every week my unfulfilled inventory should just automatically open up and send back to me. You do pay for that uh, per item fee. It was 10 cents and 50 cents, 10 cents to dispose, 50 cents to return. I think they upped that to 60 cents and 10 cents, uh, but you can click on this removal fee and see what the current fees are. And uh, you just fill out your name and your address. If you have a liquidation company that things get sent to, you can have it automatically sent to them. I use GoGambit, which uses uh, Auction Nation to auction out things. And every once in a while, if I'm liquidating out things, I will just have a batch and create, send my inventory to them straight from Amazon. But uh, most of my automated returns are just gonna come back to me here at my place of business. And that's it. Once you hit accept, it will say success, updates have been saved. And hopefully they won't change them again, <laughs> which yeah, I got to keep checking that. So I'm probably going to put it on the calendar to check next week and just keep checking every week until they stop pulling that one. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening. If this video helped you out at all, hit subscribe. And I am curious for anybody out there that would like to share, were your settings on or off? Because I'm reading Facebook groups and there's a lot of people that those settings got turned on and they did not set them to go on. So I'm curious, tell me 
what you found out below if your settings were on or off. Take care, have a good day.